Le Bateau is a paper cut from 1953 by Henri Matisse. The picture is composed from pieces of paper cut out of sheets painted with gouache, and was created during the last years of Matisse's life. It's amazing to think that Matisse's career had started in the 1890s under the influence of the Impressionists. You'd never know it given their vitality, but Matisse's cutouts were made at old age, from his late 60s until his death at the age of 84, and they were made under the shadow of illness and exhaustion. After a botched operation following a diagnosis of cancer and with failing eyesight, Matisse made much of the work we see here from his wheelchair or from his bed. But the cutouts inspired him so much that he told friends this period was his second life. If he couldn't get out into the world anymore, he'd recreate that world in art, in all its colour and beauty. Have you ever made a mistake that made you look bad? Well, welcome to the story about the Museum of Modern Art's slight error that went unnoticed for almost 50 days, hanging a Matisse painting upside down. But let's rewind for a minute. On October 18, 1961, the new exhibition, The Last Works of Henri Matisse, opened its doors to thousands of visitors. One of his most elegant works was Le Bateau, executed in 1953, a year before Matisse's death, an image of a sailing boat and its reflection in the water. But the fact that the reflection was indeed the original, and the image was upside down, was not discovered until 47 days later, and thousands of oblivious visitors, even Matisse's own son, would look at the work not realizing its mistake. It wasn't until Jean Vieffaber, a determined stockbroker and an admirer of Matisse's work, questioned the image. She did not believe Matisse would give more detail to the reflection than the boat itself, and thus addressed the concern after her third visit. Discarded by the guard, and not able to reach the service desk on a Sunday, she shared her recognition with the New York Times. The story of the Upside Down Era was run on December 5th, 1961. By this time, an embarrassed director had corrected his mistake and brightened the image. Screw holes were blamed for the error, yet closer inspection revealed that holes were, in fact, present, indicating the right way to hang the image. Today, Le Bateau is part of the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art and hangs right side up. Paris in the early years of the 20th century was a hotbed for the avant-garde, and Henri Matisse, one of its most revolutionary talents. Dubbed a fauve or wild beast for his radical early experiments in colour, Matisse rejected the notion that artists should present an illusion of reality, but he was, however, deeply inspired by the world around him. In his prints and drawings, his paintings, sculptures, and his late cutouts, he distilled all this into an art that sang with colour, an art of sinuous line and form, simplified almost to the point of abstraction. Matisse gave us a window on the world that was distinctly his own, but left art transformed forever.